Hello, everyone. Now we are on lesson E. We are going to practice our writing skills now. So, what I need you to do is to open your student book on page 92 and let's start practicing our writing skills. Student book, page 92. So when you go to your student book, you see a page like this, right? This number one exercise, 1A, this is your personal opinion, right? So answers will vary from one person to another person. Uh, and so we are going to skip that, but you can do as homework and come back to me with your answers later so we can talk about it, discuss. And if there's something wrong, I can point that out to you so you can correct and improve your skills, okay? But what I want us to do is to go to exercise 1B, and I want us to read this paragraph. This is the model paragraph. You have to focus on this paragraph because the exercise will guide you, the book will guide you to, do, uh, to write a paragraph like this, Okay, so let's read slowly so we can practice. Okay, so first go to student book, page 92, exercise B. Okay, and we are going to now do this reading together. Okay, ready? So I want you to repeat after me. Okay, so you can also practice your pronunciation. Reasons you shouldn't shop online. Reasons you shouldn't shop online. There are some good reasons you shouldn't shop online. First, it's hard to choose merchandise that you can't touch. For example, a piece of jewelry might look very good on the computer screen, but after you buy it and look at it closely, you may find that's very ugly and poorly made. Furthermore, Shopping online is slow. It may take several days to receive the merchandise. If you are not satisfied, it may take weeks to exchange the merchandise or get your money back. Finally, shopping online can be dangerous. People can steal your credit card number and use it to buy expensive items. An irresponsible seller can take your money and never send you the merchandise. I'm going to do my shopping in stores. Good. Before we go to next page, I want us to focus on this red box here. Look what it says. Use transition words such as first, 
second, next, furthermore, moreover, and finally, to signal a list of reasons in a paragraph. So, what this red box is saying is that when you are writing a paragraph, or when you're writing something, you have your topic, you have your main idea, and after that, in the body of the paragraph, in the middle of the paragraph, you're gonna list your reason. You're gonna list your supporting ideas. And you're gonna make use of first, second, next, furthermore, moreover, to help guide the reader through your thought process. And then finally will be a way of, when you use finally, the word finally, you're gonna use that word as a way of concluding or finalizing your thoughts, okay? So you can use all these words to guide the reader through your thought process, okay? We call those transition words, okay? Don't forget that, good? Okay, let's go to next page. In your student, still in your student book, page 93. Okay, um, we are on page 93, exercise C, okay? Let's do exercise C. So at this point, what you can do is try to do this whole page on your own. You can pause the video, try to do this whole page on your own, and then come back for the, con uh, for the correction after you finish or you just can you can follow along okay but let's go now exercise c page 93 in your student book look what the exercise is asking us to do complete the outline with information from the model paragraph okay so now you have to come uh, go to the paragraph and come back and you have to complete this okay so look this is an outline, a skeleton, a model of the paragraph. Okay, so first, this is a transition word. What it says in the in the in the first in the first reason, hard to choose merchandise you can't touch. Remember, the person that wrote the paragraph does not like to shop online, and the person is giving us reasons why shopping online is a bad idea. The person is almost trying to convince us not to shop online and giving us reason is giving us uh, arguments not to shop online so look first hard to choose merchandise you can't touch and what's the supporting detail what is the supporting detail now you have to write it's okay so let me give you this okay so hard to choose merchandise you can touch. So the supporting detail is, look what happens. Might look good on the screen. What? Merchandise. But but you may find ugly or poorly made. Remember, on the screen, everything is perfect, right? On the screen, is everything is perfect, but once you receive that, oh, it's not what I wanted. So that's the supporting detail, okay? So let's go to the next one. Let's do it slowly, okay? What's the transition the person uses for the second reason? Very good. Furthermore, furthermore, okay? Furthermore, it's a transition word. And what is the second reason? Why shopping online is bad idea? Because shopping online is slow, right? That's the second reason. And what's the supporting detail? May take 
several days to receive, right? It may take several days to receive. And nowadays, with all this pandemics going on, that's what's happening. It's taking days to receive something, yeah. But the person not only gives us one supporting detail for this, but it gives us another supporting detail. And what is? One is it may take several days to receive the merchandise and may take weeks to exchange or get a refund. Yeah, very good. That's a good point. Yeah, very good. That, I think that's why Amazon make it so easy for you to return something. And they're really fast in giving you a refund because they know this is a big uh, barrier for online shopping. But anyways, have any questions? So if you have any questions, do let me know, come to me and I'll be very happy to answer your questions, okay? But don't, don't be shy in asking, okay? In asking questions. So third reason, what is the transition word that the person uses? Look at the reading, look at the paragraph. Just don't wait me for me to write down the answer. Go to your book, check. What is the third transition word? Very good. Finally, finally, that's the third reason transition word. And what is the third reason for not shopping online? May be dangerous. And I thought this is really interesting. I never thought about it, but yeah, may be dangerous. And what's the supporting detail? People can steal your credit information yeah, people can steal your credit information or credit card right credit card number let me put credit card number okay and then they can go and buy a lot of things on your credit card and what's the other supporting detail yeah the seller can take the money and not send the merchandise. Yeah, they can take your money and never send it. And it happened to me before. Did you know that? It happened to me. Not a big deal. I got a refund, but it happened to me. I bought, and when it came, actually, it's not that the person did not send the merchandise. The person sent the wrong merchandise. That was terrible. Okay. Good. Easy or difficult? Okay. So let's continue now. Um, we are going to go to other part. So look, we are, the goal is to make, to write your own paragraph, like the model paragraph. No, now you saw how you work with transition words, reasons, and supporting details. Uh, now, letter D, what you had to do is to plan a paragraph about why you should shop online. Think of two or more reasons and one or more supporting details for each person. Make notes about your ideas in an outline like the one in exercise 1C, like this one that we just did before. But now you're arguing for shopping online. Shopping online is good. And you should do this on your own paper, okay? Uh, unfortunately, there is no way we can do this. So you have to do it on your own and then send me so I can correct and review. But after, after you write the online, the exercise is asking you to write a whole paragraph. So you have to write a whole paragraph, like the one 
on page 92, okay? So do this, it's a good home, homework. I do encourage you to do this and then send it to me. It's not a big a, a, a burden for me. You're not bothering me by sending your exercise so that I can take a look and make corrections if necessary. Okay, but I do encourage you to do this one because it's a very good one. Okay, so don't forget, I'm here if you need anything. Come with your questions. Practice, 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 practice. Repetition is key to improve your English. Thank you for keeping English alive. Thank you for watching. Take care.